a lot of the rooms um, in order to get the uh, ending where you don't die. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go back out here. And uh, where was it? I think... Well, uh, uh, cover your eyes. Uh, I do have a trigger warning. Uh, it is exclamation point TW. Um, because this game is very brutal. Uh, and I want everybody to, you know, be safe. And, uh, I don't want any anybody to feel like they have to watch this. Also, uh... No, no mouse pad in this one. It's just keyboard. So it's a little, it's a little awkward. Okay, here. Here's one thing. Uh, if you should die, if you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. So you're telling me the band isn't, isn't here? Why did I have to die like that? Oh. Oh. Heck yeah, a key. A key? A uh, key to some unknown lock has that classic key shape suggesting it's rather old. So we'll feel the pain of death forever? Best not think about that. Alright, so yeah, this is still blocked off pile of rubble for anyone that was here yesterday we uh were struggling um i i, I was struggling <laughs> very hard with um with i i, I was able to get the boss i i defeated the boss like three times um <laughs> um yeah it was definitely something there's like paper over there i want to read p bucket for anyone that doesn't know, that's a pee bucket. Uh, victims memoirs, one out of five. Uh, let our parting be but temporary. I send thee flowers, my beautiful flower, as thou waitest, eternal with my with my return, beautiful flowers, thou canst see, and sh shouldn't I ear <laughs> break free of this hell and retake my place at your at thy side these words i cut couldn't <laughs> never say and these feelings i couldn't never give will be able to bear for thee oh that's that's cool man that's great good for you i guess uh so yeah this is this is completely gone forever uh... Ooh, ooh, more memoirs? Victims' memoirs, uh, two out of five. Alas, the only flowers that bloom in hell are white as freshly fallen snow. So, uh, on a lark, thy heart, pure as a heart can be, I wish to, to stab with pins and scatter the petals. Let the white flowers be dyed red by thee. Uh, and I think we've- this is like the first bones we ever see. Yeah, help me, help me. Judging by the size and the appearance, yep, we have seen that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Save over that. <clears throat> so we gotta find more memoirs, I guess. Can we open this? Grab some A. Door's locked. Oh! Uh, the unknown key seems to fit the lock perfectly. The door can now be opened. Yeah! Ooh! Hmm? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be fine. I mean, it's a locked door. Y you know what that means, right? Booty! Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? Uh, my VTuber model stopped working again. Dot, dot, dot. So, uh, I'm gonna enter. Let me really quickly. Do 
turn off. Turn on. Hmm. Um. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. All right, I'm gonna close out of YouTube Studios completely. Uh, reopen it. Apologies, you guys. It's been doing this a lot recently and I don't know how to fix it. So that's a problem, I guess. <laughs> oh. If I can't fix this, uh, I can't, if I can't fix it right here, then I'll just go with it how it is. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to keep having to pause for the, uh, the software. Oh. Alright, I see my camera's on. There we go. All right, let's let's continue forth. Eep! Ugh, another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Oh, okay, uh, but I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can't we just take? One little peek? <laughs> I'm a little tempted. Unlit candle. Can I light the candle with my matches? There's a candle, but it's unlit. Okay. Um. <gasps> Hi, Vivian! How are you doing, Vivian? I hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to look at the newspaper. Uh, FYI for anybody uh, joining in. Oh, hi, Saxis! Just saw your text. Hello. We par uh, partying with some corpses? Heck yeah. I'm also one of the corpses. <laughs> um, but yeah, how is everybody? Uh, just FYI for anybody joining, exclamation point TW will bring up a trigger warning. Um, and it will, you know, go into details about the trigger warning. Um, this game is pretty brutal, so I want to make sure everybody is comfortable with that before we, you know. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, trigger warning. Uh, we're gonna- we're gonna talk to this newspaper. <laughs> Heavenly Post. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. Murder. A good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Too sleepy to feel the horror? <laughs> I feel that boom. It is pretty early in the morning. You got approved for a new apartment, Vivian? Let's go! Congratulations! I hope the uh, new apartment is smells nice. <laughs> um, and I hope you like it. Uh, now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absented youths... Uh, absconded? Absconded? 
youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973 at around 7 p.m. That's my mom's birthday. <laughs> September 18th. Authorities further revealed that a male uh, instructor from the school was found with with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue severed and uh, removed. Uh, eek, mutilations are too far got to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this, though, once before. Not me, but I guess it happened long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh. Slam. <gasps> Bruh. Huh? No. The door seems to be affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. Oh, you're multiple anime girls? Oh, yeah. It's been too long since I've seen this game. Oh, yeah, same here. Uh, the last time I ever saw this game was in middle school. Door is affixed. Uh, Heavenly Post, you will never leave this room. Damn you. Damn you. There's a candle, it's unlit. Sob, sob. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> hmm. What's this? Uh, that's the date. Let me out. 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 Skelly is a mood same though. It's so it won't open. There we go. Uh, there's no way out. Oh, what do we do? Quickly, throw some, th throw yourself through a window. What, indeed? Huh? What do you mean? Just, never mind. Alright, well, I guess we're leaving this room. Oh, man. That scared the crap out of me. Panic sigh. <sighs> <laughs> Hold up. Oh, no. No! It's gone! What is? The paper doll scrap I got from a Ayumi! Oh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap! I put mine in my pocket. I must have- it must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I, I- that's why I kept telling you you need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. Aw. Do, 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 do. Butter up your poopers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, memoirs. Memoirs. <laughs> Victim memoirs. Three out of five. Woe is me. Woe is the me who never stopped loving thee. Even if thou cho choosest to move on, I will always love thee forevermore, forevermore, forevermore. Woe is me, woe is the me whose crotch is raw and bloody. I scratched it so much I want to show it to thee and prove that it is thine and that I still love thee. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hi, Collector! You love Corpse Party? I lo Corpse Party's so good. Butter up the pooper. <laughs> So yeah, I think we've been here- we've, we've already interacted with all this stuff, but right now I'm trying to find more memoirs. I'm wondering if there's any more memoirs around. I think we read this, uh, yeah. The, the girls in the boys' bathrooms. <laughs> Luber, <laughs> your pooper? Or Sufer? <laughs> Oh, ew, I hate, uh, ew, ew, disgusting. I just hate the fly noise, it's just so gross. It's so loud, too. <laughs> um, so we're gonna find more, try to find more memoirs, hopefully. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. 
Um, I think we read this already. There's several crumpled papers on the floor next to the body where they seem to have been dropped by the victim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. I, I don't remember reading that. Uh, we four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. I'm in class 5A. Everybody's fine. Yuza, Yuzaha, come join us. Ugly fly noises. Bzz, 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 bzz. When the fly tries to serenade you so it doesn't so you don't kill it. Sorry, the music is really a bop. Alright, let's see. Oh. First, all the windows, doors, and outside walls of the school are completely immovable. You can't open them, can't break them, can't burst them down. Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, though, like the hall window in the classrooms, can be affected to some extent or another. Second, just as some people are inherently good or bad natured, some of the ghosts in, the, in here are good while others are quite nasty. Uh, the more kind and gentle spirits shed a pale blue light, while the less savory types appear in blood red and glow like fire. Okay, it's good to know. Good to know. Uh, actually, have I talked to your body? There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawl on the floor. Uh, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains, the, the uniform, and yes, we have seen this one. Custodian's closet. Oh, it's really quiet in here. Crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hands. You're an idiot, Kyoto. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. So yeah, this one has a, a hole in their skull. Don't know how they got a big old hole in their skull, but you know. Let's go through here. <gasps> Hi, CC! Hi, CC! Hydrate! Thank you for the hydrate. I got myself a old Coke because I didn't get anything. So I'm going to take a little sip from this because I'm uh, scared. Yeah, that's flat. <laughs> and warm. Hi, Mia! How are you doing, Waf? We got some more memoirs. Did it work? Um, I haven't tried many things yet. I went into the settings to see if there was the camera thing, but I think I'm on Windows 11, so I don't think I have that, uh, I don't have that setting. <clears throat> Victim's memoirs, uh, four out of five. Didn't want to see your face. Your face is for no one but me as I burn in the fires of hell. I continue to live here. I am not dead yet. Let our part plural. The remains of the page is soaked with blood so thick as to obscure any further writing. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, yeah, I can't go there. Oh, uh, actually. I just wanted to see. Good, how's the game? Pretty good. Pretty good. I always enjoyed this game when I was a, a little wee middle schooler. Boo, boo, boo. But yeah, Mia, uh, it does have gore in it, so do, uh, do, uh, you know. <laughs> My head is splitting. It's un unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. Uh, when we found Yuzaha's Yuzuh body, I saw a black shadow. Oh, yeah, we read this already. So sorry. Uh, the lower half of the text is obscured with a thick layer of dried blood. Hmm. I need to find one more memoir that was loud. <laughs> Principal. Can't open that. Um, can I open this? No. Do, 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 do. I talked to you already, I think. It hurts. It hurts so much. Yes, I have. Boop, boop, boop. 
Hmm, I need one more memoir. So we haven't been somewhere yet. Hmm. We've been in... Have we been in that room yet? Yes, I think this is the room with the girl with the hole in her head, right? Yes. So yeah, we've been in here. Uh, we've been in this room and then the room here. We actually just came out of here, so... Mm -hmm. Mm, let's look at this. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. That's the ghost up there. Boop, 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 boop. Uh... What's in here? Oh, this is the... This is the... Yeah. We'll go in here later. Uh, close your eyes. <laughs> Ow! My eardrums! <laughs> We've already read these ones. This is the three. Yeah, three out of five. What was me? No! Oh, I almost went back down. <laughs> um, we're still looking for the last mem- Oh! 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 Is this it? The fifth and final chapter of the victim's memoirs are sitting on the ground. Read it. I should go save. Uh, I'm gonna go save. I'm, not, I'm gonna go save. I'll be right back. How was your first day at school, hun? Oh, it was great. It was, uh, you know, filled with dead bodies. <laughs> So we're gonna go back to the infirmary because I know that is the what ew is the one area uh, that has a lit candle that I think I'm closest to. Yeah, so we're gonna quickly save just just in case. Uh. I hate the fly noises. Ugh, I'm trying to get past. I don't want to step in it. Mm. Alright, now let's go read it. And if we die, that's okay because we saved. Let's have a look. Victims' memoirs, five out of five. Uh, a ass die. Apologize to me what your dear you bite. I'm going uh our your intestine from your body and make red flowers bloom as uh, ever that white skin of yours that uh, ever to tell the body boy a girl anymore on I'm done with you. Okay, good thing we saved, because I think we died. Wait. <gasps> huh? What happened? What's going on? Psycho? Psycho? Poor girl, poor girl. Psycho! Naomi, you poor girl. You poor, poor girl. Psycho, what happened to you? Psycho! Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Psycho, no, please! Go, Oomph. Go! Gorsh. Psycho spirit was clearly not entirely intact. She was a shell of her formal self, and it didn't seem like she was coming back. It had been around four days since we've gotten trapped in the school, give or take. And the two of us were stuck here forever, alone together in this hell, never again to see another living being while we still drew breath. So we starved to death? 
Naomi. Åh. Oh. Psycho? Naomi. Psycho, have you finally come back to your senses? You have no idea how worried I was. Naomi, you poor girl, you poor girl, you poor girl. Da da da. Aha! Aha! Naomi, we have to repop you. Oh god. Da da da. I can't. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. Ah! Is this how the person got the 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 hole in the back of their head? So yeah, that was a wrong ending, but that's okay. I think. Yep. <laughs> Good thing. I'm so glad that we saved because we would have had to go through all that again. <laughs> All right, so uh, since we got everything, I think, uh, let's uh, double check and make sure that the fifth page is still up there. If it's not up there, then uh, that sucks. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Because, yeah, this page only appeared... Yeah, okay. The page only appeared when I came up here. So we should be good. We should be good to go. Uh, to the infirmary now. Sorry, I keep having to go past this. <laughs> I'm so sorry I gotta keep going past that. <coughs> Alright, now. Let's go seepies. They're surprisingly clean. Um... I think I might skip this part. Because we have, we have done this already. Uh, yesterday, like, multiple times. Um, when does she say dead ass? <laughs> I'll stop when she says dead ass. She already say it? She might have already said it. Oh, she may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all accounts. Because the guess there's no fooling Psycho. I've been pretty court with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. Hmm. <gasps> Gulp. And what was that exactly? Oh, sorry. I, I was just... It's just that when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. You're so weird. Big brother. <laughs> that was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll, I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Uh, well, but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Hmm, my ankle does feel a lot better. Psycho has has a definite knack for caretaking. Sigh. <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi, I wonder what they're all doing right now. <sniffs> me, 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 me. He's about to touch uh, Naomi's boobs. Rumble, rumble. <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself! And Get off of me, that's my chest. Ah! Sorry, sorry, I, I couldn't see where I was grabbing. You're lucky, you're so cute. D darn you. Pfft. Oof. Uh, just want to see him. Why oh, did this happen? have to happen? <laughs> Alright. Door's locked. Why the door locked? The closer inspection, there's no visible bolts keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that has been locked at all. What? But it, it's not locked, then why won't it open? Hee hee, ha ha. Aha! Are those children? Let's all go on a field trip. Who? What? Alright. 
Okay, we're good. We got the light. That means we could save. <laughs> that means that we what we did, we did correctly. My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the door. Door is locketed with hair. The door is latized uh, lati with countless strands of black hair rooting in its place. Is, is someone there? Scribble, scribble, scribble. Sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Haphazardly scr uh, scrawled shorthand begins appearing in the journal uh, on the desk as it is being written by an unseen hands. Letters have are so mishappen and inconsistent, however, that they're uh, completely illegible. Scratch, 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 scratch. Sachi, have you come to find me? Bah. What the? Eek! I have to get away. We gotta burn it first. It doesn't burn. FYI. <laughs> the flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. <gasps> Leave me, leave me alone! Alright. <laughs> Tonics. Grab the alcohol. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna hit. Alright, that's okay. One hit. The black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that it is a malevolent force. If it continues, death is inevitable. Douse it with fire! <laughs> Woo! With a seizable whoosh and a waft of fuming, foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to be open. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Cough, cough. Please! I'm going to kill you. Ah! Gag, wretch. Blah, 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 blah. You partying with corpses all day, every day. <laughs> Hi, Bun Bun. How are you doing? Cough, hack, spit. Patooey. Patter, patter. <gasps> Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? Psycho. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Belch. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? Oof, I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Uh, I'm good. Glad to see you playing Court Party. It's one of your favorite games. Yeah, I watched a gameplay of it back when I was in middle school for forever ago. It's been years. Um, but yeah, I, I've finally got around to play it. So I'm very excited. And we're only on chapter one. <laughs> and, uh, I ended yesterday not knowing that we were close to the end uh, to this chapter. Uh, did you find Yuka? Uh-uh. Looks like we really are the only people here. The only two living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. Dot, dot, dot. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. 
That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving then. Uh, can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm? Well, we've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Dot, dot, dot. Damn it, there I go again. It's hopeless, we're finished, and I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure it out. Something out. Class 2 Niners never die. Never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, uh, what you say I go get our bikes, I, uh, go get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is psycho. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Uh, hmm? You keep smiling and laughing. Do I? Tell me, how long is this going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Dot, dot, dot. Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a crock, and you know it. Damn. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Psycho's spirits up till the bitter end, but just like that, I was berating her and abusing her. All I had run through all I all I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to, so you do. What is wrong with me? Psycho's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that, so why am I putting her through it? all this grief? That's how I think people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family, but normal people don't work that way. Naomi. Sorry about how we split up. Uh, sorry. Uh, how about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help get us out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who... Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you and everybody else. And I sure as hell don't want to keep- don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. I'm sorry. Psycho, uh, I'm- I'm so- Dot, dot, dot. I... I'm sorry, too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the, uh, the word sorry. Damn. I'd hear her loud and clear, though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Saiko was just a little too bright for me, so bright that it lit her, uh, that it hurt. And so, in this 
nexus of closed spaces where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinance towards uh, Psycho <clears throat> would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I ever could have imagined. <coughs> Naomi. Uh, that jerk. Uh. Now we're psycho. Oh, wow. <laughs> the music really kicked up right there. I... I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice? No. Mm-mm. Go, Psycho, run! Run! You should go back up the stairs for a secret scene? Yee! Wait, hold on. Oops. I went down the stairs. There we go. Yarg! Not another earthquake. Is it over? Are you okay, Nay? Mm. Damn. Hi, Ultima! You love parties? Heck yeah. Ugh. How you doing, Ultima? I love Saiko so much. Saiko was my favorite character. <laughs> I hope Naomi's okay. Bah! Ugh. No, the floor collapsed. Did this happen because of the earthquake? I can't take this, Naomi. All right, Saiko. Uh. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking, and I'm glad that you're doing good as well. Dot, dot, dot. We really might not ever make it back home again, huh? This isn't a nightmare. It's actually happening. I guess before anything happens to either one of us, I should tell her how I feel. Or not. There's really no way I would ever it would ever work out try as i might i'd stand no chance against muchita lesbians <laughs> i think i just heard somebody calling out follow the voice <sighs> dot 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 let's go lesbians <laughs> Let's go, lesbians! <laughs> oh my god, lesbians! Let's oh, go, thank you for the let's go, go lesbians! Here we go, lesbians! <laughs> we go, lesbians. Come, on. Come on, lesbians! Dot, dot, dot. That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Na Naomi like that. Pant, pant. <gasps> 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 Uh. It's me running. For the moment, Sayako and I parted ways. The fear had been harboring. The fear I've been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. <gasps> I have this game on my 3DS. It's spooky. Yeah, it's a it's a really good game. It is my first time playing it, but I have seen it before. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. Uh, uh Amaz I'm Amazon. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. If I, I apologize if I didn't. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. I felt like something else was in my head. Like I was under some alien influence. In my mentality distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for a psycho. Hello. Welcome. I hope you're having a lovely day. I just kept calling her name over and over again. Uh, Amazon, amazing, am, 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 a, amazing, 
like amazing with an e for nostalgia <laughs> uh, amazing i think that's how it's pronounced i apologize if i'm still not pronouncing it correctly Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware of, unconcern uh, and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Uh, Psycho, Psycho, where are you? Come on, Psycho, don't leave me by myself in here. <laughs> Oh. Psycho? Is that you? Uh. The new pr pr uh, pronunciation is fine. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I apologize. Oh, oops. Wrong hand on the keyboard. Uh... Oh, this is so unfortunate. The stall, uh, the the stall, the stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Gasp! <gasps> Naomi! No! I mean, Psycho! <laughs> I read Naomi's name. I think my dogs are about to freak out. Uh, Psycho! No! Why? Why? No, no! This is the remastered one? Yeah. Naomi Gurgle. Sayoki, you're alive? Hold on. I'll get you down. Strangle. Ah, sorry. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh. The noose around Sayako's neck is uh, attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help are just strangling, strangling her further. Uh, so me, if I was in this situation, I would have put her on my shoulders immediately. I think I would have, I would have gone underneath and put her on my shoulders just so she had something to, uh, you know, be boosted onto, and we could figure out how to uh, unravel the, uh, the, the rope. There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots. Toss it out! Put your hands in! I might be able to use this as a footstool. Clang, splurge, scatter. Ugh. It's so revolting, but it's to save Psycho. Urgle. A significant number of maggots have found their way onto Naomi's hands and skirt. Ew. Uh, filthy bucket. Let's go, let's go! Seiko, I'm right here. Dot, dot, dot. The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Saiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Uh, uh. No! 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 Thank you for the sound redeem. Oh, Michael, don't leave me here. No! Why? Why would you hate yourself? Sorry, I noticed that my VTuber stopped working. You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. <laughs> say something. Oh, Psycho! I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours ago before I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now, here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. 
How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just can't be. Continued in chapter two. Yay! Chapter two unlocked. Extra one has been unlocked. Ah, because I think this one has like uh, an extra thing. Damn, that was an hour. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Unfortunately, Psycho's fate is she. She dies. Um, one second. I'm going to try to fix the camera again. If I can't fix it, then so be it. Ah. All right. I think it's fixed. In this episode of Dragon Ball, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, she hung around like enough. She, oh, <laughs> she hung around long enough for one episode. Oh my God, Rev. <laughs> uh oh, I got two achievements. Welcome to Heavenly Host. Uh, the dark, the dark space. Oh, <laughs> the clown emojis. <laughs> All right, select chapter. We're gonna try to, uh, to do more of chapter. We're gonna try to do a little bit of chapter two. Um, probably won't go all the way through. View the chapter two opening. Uh, sure. I, I mean, why not? <clears throat> oh my god. Phew. That should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meeting in two days. Why can't the boys class uh, rep take care of the of the uh, grunt work? Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Freaking Chio uh, Kish, Kishinuma. Kishinuma? Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks and he expects me to lug around a damned pommel horse <laughs> Gua, gulp Naomi that is one pretty sight oh <laughs> what is that booty you got <laughs> what yours is way cuter <laughs> mine's all plump like a duck's what are you saying you got what they call child's bearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pop out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. Hee <laughs> hee, you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no uh, wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four one day. Four. Jeez, <laughs> sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Hmm? Is this what people talk about nowadays? Hmm. I was. <laughs> what the? No! No! The fuck is this? <laughs> Some backstory. <laughs> Just a little bit of backstory. <gasps> Where? Miss Yui! Sh uh, Shishidota. Shishido? I think Miss Shishido? Apologies. I, I'm so bad with uh, pronouncing people's names. <gasps> Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. This is a different color. The ground is, I think, a different color. I think the other one was like a blue and this one's purple. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. A little silent treatment between friends. <gasps> Cat, you scared- fucking pause. Oh my god. She scared the shit out of me. Pause. <laughs> oh, okay. She hopped down from the bed, but like right against me, so it brushed against my arm. It scared me so bad. Oh, my VTuber stopped working again. Boo, 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 boo.
Hmm. We're going to put FPS at 60 instead of a V-Sync. I was told V-Sync is better, but, you know, I'm going to try uh, 60 FPS for this. <clears throat> Wheeze, chatter, blah, 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 blah. Oop. Gas, gulp, sputter, <gasps> wheeze. Shinozaki, it's all right. Please calm down. But you heard it too, outside her voice, wheeze. <sighs> I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it's just sounded like one. Maybe it's the building settling. I go catch... I'd, uh, I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Gasp, wheeze. <gasps> wait, Miss Yue, wait! Don't leave us! Shinozaki. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay. Uh, no. Don't split up. <laughs> or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay. I Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. I forgot I gave him, like, <laughs> California voice. Surfer dude bro voice. No! Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. <laughs> I'm counting on you, uh, Kishinuma. Uh, I'll be back in no time. No problem. <laughs> He's the only one I gave a voice to, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is uh, spinning. I can't make uh, sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. Oh, I, I, I feel that. If you're out in the cold, if that's what it feels like. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. Are they gonna die? Oh god, no! <laughs> but when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can't feel... I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. Not me, I'd be curled up in a ball, passed out. <laughs> Valier, the name is education. I'm a teacher. Return home immediately, those who remain here. We'll go hungry and die of starvation. Huh? That reminds me, poor Mon uh, Monet's all alone. He must be one hungry kitty by now. Ugh. Wait, there's a- there's a- <gasps> Hold on. Before I go up there, there's this. Can I- can I look at that? No, I can't. Speaking of hungry, I must have- I must foods. I will lurk. Alright, Rav. Thank you for stopping by and enjoy the lurk and enjoy the food. No teachers allowed on the third floor. Give me this. Oh, is that a key? A label on the key says 3A. Take it? Yes. My key. Acquired class A key. Soda, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the redeem. I will, uh, I didn't bring anything with me actually, uh, but this old soda that was here last night is still here and it's, uh, like a, there's a little bit, but I'm not gonna drink a bunch of it. I'm gonna take a little sip. Yeah, that's definitely flat. <clears throat> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All good. Mm hmm. Mm. Anything in- I, I wonder if there's any- there's, like, been anything in any of the desks. Uh, a disturbingly large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet, filling each shelf to overflowing. Looking closely, you- there are an excessive number of bugs <laughs> excitingly scampering all over. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Ah... Uh, oh, this, still the, this is the date from that one wall. Heavenly Post. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. 
So did the sea went stale overnight? Oh good. It sure did. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absented youths were discovered within the heavenly host elementary school building on September 18th, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further reveal that a male instructor from the school was found with, the, with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of, the, each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed, uh, I'm going to guess it's grotesque uh, mutilations, uh, far too grotesque to, uh, to describe. The page is torn at the point in the bottom of the half of the article is nowhere to be found. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized just how horrific an incident it really was. <gasps> dun dum slam. Huh? <laughs> Classroom A uh, 3A. The door is now unlocked. Cool. Uh, before we go in, I feel like um, there's got to be more like down here-ish. The music completely stopped. Because uh, we went up and we never went down. The pee bucket! There's a strange yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Ooh! Hmm? There's something here. A crystal shining with a faint purple glow is nestled against the debris, debris on the ground. Take it? Yes! Oh, a pale violet crystal found by Miss Yui protects its bearer from harm. Okay. Are my students still up there? Miss Yui? Oh, hi. I think that really was a scream we heard. Hmm. Did you find something? Yeah, some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. Looks like a ruby or no, probably an amethyst. Uh, Kishinuma, can you could identify gemstones? No, not really. Uh, Shinozaki's the one to ask for that kind of stuff. Is that so? Well, then maybe I should give it to her. Oh, uh, give it to Shinozaki. Guess now, now is probably not the best time for that. But will you take it and give it to her once she's calmed down a bit? It might make her feel a little better. We trust a Shinozaki gang? Yeah! No problem. Hand it over to the Power Stone. Alright, so yeah, we can't get over there. Because we're Miss Yui and we have he high heels on. We can't, we can't make a jump like that. So we went up there, we went in there. The only room we haven't gone in yet is 3A. So we unlocked this room, and that's the only way- the only access point we have. The- Young! Well, if it isn't the teacher- Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? I'll have you know I heard one of the stu one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see, regrettably. That won't be possible. The school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be at the same school, you as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from space to space to another, or maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes free freely as they do. Dr. Consider this 
fair warning, even if you should find the exact spot from which your students scream emanated. She herself may not be there, as if she isn't. There's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appears, appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? Ugh. With this phenomenon as it is, it is entirely possible for two close spaces to have some small influence or one another on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I just... I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside! <laughs> Out of my way. Hmm. The shelves are- <clears throat> the shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting, uh, implement. Kitchen knives, surgical tools, chisels, etc. Uh, all appear unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one place, this cabinet must be exceptionally heavy. Okay. Oh, my ass! Step aside! Why don't you fuck off, you damned cor- Corpel? Corporal? Gasp! <gasps> An earthquake? Uh, you're gonna want to move. Eek! Oh, fuck! Oh, look at the knives on the floor. Ugh! Ugh! In all the world, the most vile and tr trustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students, you're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Ugh! This rea this really, really hurts! You're all the same, every last one of you, and I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you keep your distance, because you you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children's- uh, The problem children and chip away at them little by little until- Until they're either- Until they either drop out or get expelled, sorry. <laughs> uh, you're not disciplining them, you're just raging at them. That's not- I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students, not once. You, you're wrong. Ugh. Ow! Ooh! All of your students are des uh, the des des designed to starve to death. Destined, <laughs> designed, destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls if they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Ow. Uh, uh. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Uh, uh. Spare them. <laughs> Come again. Spare my students. What was that? Please! I don't care what happens to me, just please spare their lives! They're not your children, but uh, you're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know? 
When you die in this accursed place, you experience you'll you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel the pain every moment of every day, forevermore. Wee's pant. <gasps> <He coughs> Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me and I'll consider sparing your life. Da, da, da. Spare my students. Don't you harm my hair on their heads, you hear me? Tch. You are one stubborn little bitch. My ass! Huh. <laughs> this is excruciating. I think my ribcage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Everybody. Live. I love you all. Meanwhile... Bah! Whoa, another earthquake! Whoa... I think it's over. Whoa, what's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We've gotta go search for Miss Yui. What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? We're going! Uh, okay. Alright, 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 already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? <laughs> How about we leave her a note? Chidozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen. But no paper. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's desk. Uh. Oh. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, we're right here. We'll be back. How's that? Blunt and all kind of sloppy. It isn't your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know? Sorry, somebody came home and they came in through the door <laughs> yelling on the phone, so I muted up. Um, but she might be in trouble. Uh, after we get off this cutscene, I think I might end it there. Just because. Uh, okay, okay. Just don't cry. We'll find her. Oh, okay. Well, that was a quick uh, end of cutscene. Heavenly Host Elementary School notice all faculty st uh, students due to recent kidnappings. Uh, victims were taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware of all times, principal. Uh, the shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs. Uh, so yeah, now we have the crystal. I wonder if I kept the crystal, if it would have helped Miss Yui out there. Um, I do think it's better that they have it the kids or the yushiki and yumi but yes all right well i think we'll end it there wait a minute hold on hold on hold on we're going back to the game because we haven't found a save station yet <laughs> we're going back to the game um there's got to be a save station somewhere. Um, oh, look at that. The board's there. Oh. What's up? What's up? 
I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shidozaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't a who isn't ultimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kizuraki for a reason. How about <gasps> oh, safe station. We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. There'll be like signal flares for Machida and the others. Let them know that you and Miss Yui, Shishido, Shishido, are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right. Save! Now, okay, cool. Now I know what the candles, who the candles uh, are from. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. We're going to...